children how are you i am fine i hope you all are doing good welcome to my channel moss magics of science so children in the last session we saw we started just started digestive system and today in this video we are going to see different parts which are included in digestion first let us uh, discuss all the parts and later let go go to the functions or mechanism of human digestive system and uh, uh, this is very very useful video children uh, apart from your normal uh, content which is uh, included in your textbook i give some more points some more key points which are not included in your textbook these points they may ask in your examination annual examination or else these are helpful in your neat or ncert okay children so listen carefully uh, if uh, if uh, uh, you think it's useful yeah whatever the point which is not included in your textbook better note down in a notebook so let's start from mouth in the last video if you see i gave a complete flow chart of digestive system so here in this video you are going to see parts start from mouth so from where digestion starts digestion starts from our mouth so you take food you put food in your mouth and stand before a mirror what did i say now stand before a mirror once open your mouth and see what are the parts which are included and how you are chewing a liquidy part produced when you keep in uh, food in your mouth what is that part yeah how you chew how you break down your food how tongue involved in uh, chewing your food okay all those if you watch it clearly in front of mirror then it will be easier to you to understand mouth and its parts so let's see mouth mouth is a entry point for digestion okay children here i give a, a key point for you mouth is not only a entry point for food i mentioned mouth is a entry point for digestion digestion mean digestion starts from mouth itself mouth is not only a entry point for food mouth also do some digestion process some digestive enzyme called saliva saliva amylase is produced inside the mouth okay so mouth is a entry point for digestion next it includes what do mouth include mouth include soft movable lips then might be you uh, have a doubt how lips are involved in digestion when you put a food inside your mouth your lips will get closed if it is not closed what are the food which you keep it may come out is it clear children so the lips not only useful to uh, speak or talk it is also helpful in digestion next we have soft movable lips they are two next we have teeth when you enter into your inside your mouth you see a empty space open your mouth in front of your mirror just now i said and then see a empty space which is present then that empty space is called buccal cavity okay inside buccal cavity you see teeth okay now your age 10th class mean now your age will be around 14 13 15 is it so you don't have a complete 32 teeth is it clear yeah when i am explaining about teeth i explain completely next next part is tongue another palate buccal cavity is a empty space and at last saliva okay these are the parts which are present inside mouth if you take only mouth in mouth we see all these parts okay so let's see one by one now just now i explained about soft or movable lips lips are helpful in helpful to prevent food to come out okay so that is the function of lips when you come to teeth children teeth play a crucial role in chewing grinding t 
tearing of food material okay so when you burn when you burn you doesn't have any teeth start from your one year or one and a half year uh, till two years you get teeth okay they are not permanent we will call such type of teeth as milk teeth what those are milk teeth okay so those milk teeth are 20 they will be up to 2 years okay from that from 2 years to uh, 5 years you will be having a teeth called milk teeth from 5 years to 6 or 7 in few children we see from 5 to 7 years that milk teeth get false okay in the place of those milk teeth a permanent teeth get fixed in your jaw okay so those permanent teeth are completely 32 in a human adult is it clear so total we have 32 yeah we get teeth two times okay one are milk teeth and another are permanent teeth milk teeth are 20 next permanent teeth are 32 it's very important next teeth if you come to teeth there are four types of teeth they, those four types plays their own role so what are those they are incisors canines premolars and molars okay so incisors are helpful in cutting food the front of food yeah if you take your jama isn't clearly and carefully yeah you have mouth mouth have upper jaw and lower jaw whenever you are speaking yeah your upper jaw doesn't move it is a fixed jaw okay only lower jaw moves here and there like this okay it is fixed only this part get moved okay the upper jaw contain 16 teeth lower jaw contain 16 teeth okay next in that 16 day the half of 16 is 8 okay the half of 16 is 8 that 8 the complete 8 are um, uh, clearly mentioned in a formula okay it is fixed in a formula and we will call that formula as dental formula okay children dental formula that dental formula is 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3 it's very difficult to remember but once if you understand whatever I am explaining now, then this formula is very easy and this dental formula may ask in your examination also. Okay. So what is 2? 32. 32 half 16 in one jaw. 16 in second jaw. Yeah. That 16 is it half again. 8 plus 8. That in the 8, 2 or incisors. Right part of your jaw contain 8. Okay, upper jaw contain 8. In that 8, 2 are incisors. 1 is cannon. The function of incisors is cutting as I already said. Cannons are helpful in tearing food. Flesh. Flesh, meat, whatever you are eating. Yeah, those require more energy. Those require more energy. Yeah, so cannons plays a crucial role in tearing food. Premolars and molars helpful in grinding or else cheeving food material. You cheave your food with the help of last teeth. Those are premolars and molars. Okay. Two or incisors. Two. One is cannon. Two or premolars. And three are molars. Okay ma. So let's come to dental formula again. Two is two. One is two. Two is two. Three is a dental formula. Okay. So, if you make a sum of this 8, 8 plus 8, right part 8, left part 8, total 16, 16 in one jaw, okay, 16 in one jaw and another 16 in lower jaw, total you contain 32 teeth, okay, teeth it's very important and uh, this question they may ask in your examination also, okay. So, please try to understand it clearly. When you come to next part that is tongue. Tongue means it is a movable part in your mouth. Okay. Tongue plays a two role. 
one is it helpful in speaking that is different and second one in digestion it plays a role of spoon mean it is a helpful in mixing food yeah it supplies food into your mean uh, it supplies food like this to your teeth okay then it gets a uh, chewed once you put a small amount of food material like apple piece or a banana piece in your mouth and then try to chew okay then you see then you uh, imagine how your tongue is moving inside your mouth okay that is tongue next palate yeah as i already said that mouth contain a empty space that empty space is bonded by a layer that layer is called as palate yeah you take your tongue and try to touch the roof of your buccal cavity with the help of your tongue you try to touch the roof then if you touch the upper part you contain you find somewhat uh, hard material okay that hard is hard palate slow down your tongue and then you see you find somewhat a soft material or soft when you touch it there will be somewhat smooth soft we will call it as soft palate okay hard palate and soft palate this is a uh, types of palate then what is the function of palate palate mean where do you find palate yeah i am using our palate palate simply remember ma nose is called nasal cavity mouth is called buccal cavity the space inside the nose is called nasal cavity the space inside the mouth is called buccal cavity these two are nose is helpful in breathing respiration process mouth is helpful in digestion process okay these two if these two are mixed these two are clubbed together then there is no proper life process okay so nasal cavity must be separated from buccal cavity who do that work palate especially hard palate separates nasal cavity from buccal cavity the roof which is present okay that dome shaped roof which is present inside our mouth that is hard palate that hard palate separates our nasal cavity the upper part of the hard palate is nasal cavity and lower part is buccal cavity is it clear next when you come to a liquidy part when you see here children if i say biryani tamarind mango simply by listening that you get your mouth get watered right that is because of taste buds what is that taste buds taste buds which are present inside your mouth which is helpful in producing a uh, whenever you uh, you feel uh, somewhat uh, sour sweet okay all those tastes are found by taste buds okay next you contain saliva saliva is produced from salivary glands okay saliva is produced from salivary glands we have total 3 pair of salivary glands those three pair of salivary glands produce saliva okay then what is the enzyme which is helpful which is present in saliva that is salivary amylase or you can call it as tyalin okay this salivary amylase or tyalin helpful in breakdown of especially carbohydrates into maltose is it clear yeah carbohydrates into maltose only carbohydrate get digested uh, that to partially digested inside mouth is it clear and ph of saliva this ph is not a new term for you yeah it is a hydrogen concentration hydrogen ion concentration which is present inside your mouth and the ph of saliva is 6.8 it is also an important question okay children so these are these are the parts which are present inside our mouth when you come to our diagram yeah these are lips upper lip and lower lip helpful in helpful to prevent the food to flow out next it contain when you enter into a mouth empty space called buccal cavity buccal cavity contain teeth they are total 32 teeth in adult 20 are milk milk teeth and 32 are permanent teeth okay next it contain tongue which is helpful in which acts as a spoon later you contain 
पलेट पलेट कंटेन पलेट और टू टाइप्स हार्ड पलेट एंड सॉफ्ट पलेट हार्ड पलेट सपरेट्स द नेजल कैविटी फ्रॉम बकल कैविटी चिल्ड्रन आई आस थ्री क्वेश्चन फॉर यू एंड देन दीज थ्री क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट मे आस्क इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो ओके सो ट्राई टू आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन वॉट एवर द एक्सप्लेनेशन विच आई गेव जस्ट ना बेस्ड ऑन दोज आई प्रिपेर थ्री वॉट एंजाइम प्रेजेंट इन सलाइवा इन साइड ऑफ माउथ कंटेन सलेवरी ग्लैंड दैट सलेवरी ग्लैंड कंटेन एंजाइम ओके सो वॉट इज दैट एंजाइम नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द पी एच ऑफ सलाइवा जस्ट नो आई सेट That pH is nothing but hydrogen ion concentration. Then what is the pH of our saliva? And the last one is dental formula. So dental formula, dental formula is nothing but a formula which is easy to remember. What teeth? Number of teeth and types of teeth. Okay, that is dental formula. It's very very important, children. Dental formula. Uh, many times they asked in examination. Okay, in your board exams also. so this is about your mouth mouth and buccal cavity and uh, in the next video you will see the remaining parts and then digestive uh, enzymes digestive juices which are produced and how they are helpful in digestion until that well, uh, watch video again and again and then try to answer the question send me the answers through comment okay children until that Take care. Bye, children.